This is Hanging Heavy. <laughs> Welcome to Hanging Heavy. Mm, oh yeah. Mm. I'm your host, Papi Ray. And here with me. It's your boy, Dizzy Crayer. Huh? Ooh. Uh, well, what's going on, everybody? Um, fucking. Well, as you can tell, the fucking resident mascot is back. <laughs> and, uh, I'm not happy about it, but whatever, we'll live. Uh, fucking the same issue that we've been having plagued the show uh, the last couple weeks is back again. Mm. And, uh, instead of bother somebody else this time, we took it upon ourselves to figure out a solution. <laughs> so, nah, not only are we still using Skype, uh, that's where you're getting Poppy's audio. Yeah, buddy. Uh, we're using Google Meet now to get my audio to him. <laughs> But this time, we don't have to fucking tie somebody else up in a conversation they don't want to be here for. <sighs> so, we're do, shit. We're, hey, we're doing it Monte style, man. Yeah, it's Monte style. style. Podcast. <laughs> By any means necessary, baby. Yes, sir. S- fucking crickets in the background. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I'm actually in the Monte right now. <laughs> what was that? Lechuza! <laughs> fucking uh yeah so aside from that my fucking computer died last episode uh I, I basically as soon as i finished uploading everything my computer just shit itself it completely just shit the bed and uh Fucking, I kind of went into a panic frenzy and uh, fucking was Googling harder than I've ever Googled before. <laughs> You're just like, oh, and uh, fucking, I found out that uh, apparently the power supply is always the first thing to check, and uh, it's cheaper than buying a new one, and uh, fucking, uh, whatever. <laughs> So, fucking, in the process of replacing the power supply, I fucking tore the video sync data cable. You blew it! And uh, I had to wait for another part to come in, so now I'm fucking sweating balls. Oh. Uh, Not knowing if I fucking damaged anything internally on the motherboard. Because uh, that's where the fucking money is. And uh, fucking whatever. I got everything fucking replaced. A new cable. A new power supply. I even added the four extra gigabytes of RAM that I could. To fucking max out my 2010 iMac. <laughs> uh, with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And, uh, so far, so good. Uh, fucking, I plugged it in, I turned it on, and... Alive. It's alive. It's alive. Uh, she lives. So, uh, fucking, I don't know if you want to go ahead and introduce the next segment, Poppy. But... Mm-hmm. What are we doing? We're doing the... Your mom... Yeah, well, this week we'll we'll jump into your mom and we'll start the Ooh. the month off pretty good. This is your mom. Oh shit, shit, shit! Hold on. <laughs> it's become tradition around here to take oh, a shot that's true. of a good old fashioned rich and rare. So let's do that, and then we'll get balls deep in your mom. Mm. Three, two, one. <laughs> Yeah. 
Jeez. <laughs> oh, I like that. Ah, uh, fuck. So where were we? Hold on. This is your mom. So your mom, for you, those of you that are new around here, is a segment that I started where I go to the local used bookstore that also sells used games, DVDs, CDs, and whatnot, memorabilia. And I pick up uh, a couple of albums, EPs, uh, LPs, whatever have you, in CD format. And uh, do they have do they have singles? I'm not sure. Yeah, you know what? I think I've picked up a single. It was like uh, the radio promotion single, so it had like the fucking radio edit, the original version, and I think maybe like a remix or something. Oh, so I have picked up stuff like that, and now how, how much is the single worth? Like fifty cents? No, they still charge a two, three bucks American. Damn. I mean, it's a full package, so whatever. They don't care what's on it. <clears throat> um. So uh, yeah, um, there's not too much criteria uh, involved within it. Uh, if the packaging or the artwork or whatever jumps off the shelf I'll pick it up if it has interesting artwork I'll pick it up if the band or person or group has an interesting name I'll pick it up if uh, the group is featured on this somewhere on the front or back and they look like it'll be interesting or they look completely fucking stupid I'll pick it up Uh, essentially it's a uh, train wreck or not a train wreck Oh, hey, fuck you. <laughs> but, yeah, so, th- I mean, I, I, I like to expand my horizons musically as this poppy. There's no point in being close-minded about music. Uh, no, what, no, no. What, whatever moves you, moves you, you know? So, fucking, I don't really care about the genre. More as, is like, if it's visually appealing or it sounds cool, I'll take it. Or it sounds fucking stupid and it looks like a train wreck. So, um, me and Poppy are uh, heavy metal fans. Uh, we we talked about it before. Uh, Static X is a big uh, a big band that we both grew up listening to with, and uh, they had a tour for the twentieth anniversary or the twenty year anniversary of Wisconsin Death Trip. And uh, for those of you that are not into the loop with Static X, their lead singer and uh, guitarist, uh, Wayne Static, died about six or seven years ago already. So they had a masked front man, man the band, during these live tours. And we saw some leaked footage of a show, and I immediately pointed out who I thought it was. And... Uh, yeah, that's not the important part. The important part is they decided to put out a complete album with studio cuts that they never released with Wayne Static, their original singer. So they have all these uh, recordings and songs that they never really finished. And they decided to put it out because, I mean, what's what's wrong with a little more Wayne, you know? So, uh, I guess with that, we haven't even heard it. I guess we're fake fans. God damn it, Bobby. <laughs> but throwing that judgment out the window, we're going to go ahead and... I guess we're going to review that as one of the albums. Usually, I'll pick three, or if I have guests, I'll have them pick one, depending on how many guests, and then we'll split the difference. But seeing as how this is something that we've both been interested in, Well, go over that. So we're going to take a break right here, and we're going to listen to the... Let me pull it up real quick. I think it's like the Regeneration album or something like that. Static X. Regeneration Volume 1. That's what it's called. Project Regeneration Volume 1. And it was released uh, July 10th, 2020. Jesus, we're fucking behind the fucking bat on this one. God damn it, Bobby... Not that bad. Right. Right. July. A few, mo- few months. September, October. Three months passed, yeah. 
we're already fuck. We're already almost in the tenth of this month, and almost four months ago. But okay, <laughs> uh, forgive us. We're human. We have lives. Uh, oh. With that in mind, uh, there's a loud, loud, loud noise coming from Puppy's end. So Rich and her. And we're back. <clears throat> so we listened to a bunch of tracks off of the Project Regeneration Volume One. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the floor, Puppy. Mmm. I like it. It's heavy. It's really heavy, I think. And a lot heavy also on the. What do you wanna call it? The EDM sounds, I guess they're having. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot heavier. It is, I think, one of their heaviest albums. <coughs> and I guess you could tell they kind of like put sound bites within the songs. Is mm -hmm. his voice? But overall, I, I like it. Yeah, uh, yeah. So fucking, it's... for me, the 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 tone, the guitar tone, fuck, it's fucking heavy, dude. Yeah, it's fucking heavy, man. The, it it sounds like it could be an old Static X album. And I guess that's what they were going for. Yeah, Man. it's just really heavy on the on the on the DM. Yeah, they, they 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 went a little too heavy on the electronic music and it sounds like fucking nineties electronic music. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> almost like almost saying that in a bad way. Like the 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 rest of the music like makes up for that, so I mean that's good. Do you think they went heavy on it because since obviously they they couldn't have Wayne there? Yeah, to do it. yeah, yeah. They needed something to fill it in. And for me, I I noticed that like they kind of drowned out Wayne's vocals a little bit. Be I, because I'm pretty sure the the shit that they do have recorded, it it was demo stuff. So I mean they had to do what they could do with what they had, you know. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of it wasn't final take stuff. And yeah, that's what. You, yeah, you could hear it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that it's bad, but I'm, I'm, I wish I could hear his voice a little more. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, if you're into heavy metal and you have never heard Static X, this is a good, a good jumping point to start from. Yeah, since EDM's really popular now. Yeah. You like the 90s kind of idiom? If you've never heard what uh, techno <laughs> or EDM sounded like in the 90s, oh, do we have something for you. <laughs> and fucking, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Uh, I'm drinking two different beers right now at, at once. And uh, the reason why I bring it up is because we're talking about music right now. These beers are both put out by bands. So on one in one pint glass, I have the Trooper, the Iron Maiden beer. <coughs> Hold on. In another glass, I have a Taut Le Monde, which is uh, put out by Megadeth. So fucking, it's the battle of the big four in beer. Now at the place where I buy my booze, they had a Metallica beer. Uh, but they don't have it in stock anymore. Oof. Uh, yeah, so my thing was to see who did it better, Dave Mustaine or fucking James Hetfield. <laughs> uh, but they fucking ran out of it, so fuck. God damn it, Bobby. I should have bought it when I saw it. <clears throat> but yeah, putting them side by side, they're two different kind of beers, so it's n honestly not the best comparison. One's a, a British pub-style ale, and the other one is... Uh, and Belgian style season ale, and uh, just like tasting it, the Megadeth one tastes better. Damn! Don't do that too. Hey. To pee pee. Pee pee. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm the biggest Iron Maiden fanboy of all time. I'm gonna keep the can. You fucking better believe it. Mm. But uh, their beer kind of sucks. <laughs> I hate to say it. Uh, I prefer the Megadeth one. Just... Maybe because it's British yeah. or European. Maybe you put the drink it hot. It is hot. Cold. I've had it sitting. Oh, it I've had it sitting to the side this whole time. 
Ooh, <clears> I'm trying to drink no. it. Uh, uh, when in Rome, what is it saying? Yeah, fuck, what? dude. I don't know if I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish it, but... <laughs> I'd rather not. Ooh. I'd rather finish this Mega Death beer. Mm. Et thou le monde. That is French or what the fuck? I don't know. Fucking. It's a Belgian style. Saison oh, ale. Oh, Jesus. It's Belgian. Shit. There you yeah. go. It's an ale brewed with spices. It's dry hopped. Whatever kind of that sp- means. What kind of spices? <clears throat> Fucking. And it's made in Canada. <laughs> it actually says uh, a product of Canada. I should uh, see if my boy Carlton can get him out there. <clears throat> Ugh, fuck. So yeah, let me let me put this uh, beer to the side. We're gonna Ooh. go ahead and pick uh, out of the four that I have, and uh, we'll get back into it with what we picked. And uh, after we've heard it, we'll discuss. Rich and rare. And we're back. Excuse the volume changes in my voice, but I have to move my mic around, so fuck you. Ooh. So, in our, our choice, out of four, we chose uh, Ash Jack, that was my choice, and Papi decided to pick Mixel Pixel. And the yeah. album was titled Music for Plants, released in 2006. Now, Mixel Pixel was a music video project based in Brooklyn, New York, and they were active from 95 to 2009. And uh, they're labeled as indie pop. Now, we listen to just uh, scattered songs throughout the album, and uh, I'll, I'll go first, Poppy, since uh, it, I ended up losing money buying these. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it it's it sounds like it's good music to chill to. Like if you're not doing anything, or like if you're just fucking lounging around, it's good background music. I I'll probably listen to it again. Um, but it it just reminded me a lot of Beck, and Poppy made a comment that it sounded super nineties, and it definitely does. Yeah, to me, I thought it was from the 90s. I mean, it was 2006. Yeah, the the first thing he asked is, is, damn, this shit sounds 90s. When was it put out? I could see, I could see like, in the college dorms, people just yeah, yeah, when they're exactly. studying or just smoking, chilling. Smoking pat. Yeah, that sounds like, a little bit like back. But... It's, it's got that weird, like, artistry vibe, so I guess that's why they're indie pop. Yeah, it's like a little bit big, a little bit. I don't want to say Radiohead much, but in that kind of genre, I guess. Yeah, I don't. I don't but, fuck too much with Radiohead, so you're on your own with that one. But <laughs> uh, the good thing about music is uh, your opinion can never be wrong, mm. unless you're wrong. Dip 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 dip. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, um, there's really not too much to say about that one. Again, I'm going to give it another listen. Uh, If you guys are interested into expanding your horizons musically and are looking for some nice chill music, look for Mixel Pixel, Music for Plants. And this is the third album, so maybe the other two, it's way different. or This is their fourth album. Oh, four? Shit. Yeah, yeah. So good. their first album is Mappy Land, 2000. Their next one, Radio Panda, a uh, Rainbow Panda, 2003. Number, uh, 2004, Contact Kid, and Music for Plants, 2006. They had another album, Let's Be Friends, in 2008. I guess that's their last album. Uh. <clears throat> they put out a couple of EPs or demos or whatever, but... Yeah, that's about it. A bunch of remixes and stuff. But yeah, for the most part. Now, the next choice is one that I chose. Again, it's Ass Jack. And it's self-titled. We're going to go ahead and listen to it. And uh, we'll come right back. Rich and Rare. 
All right, we're back. Uh, we just listened to Ass Jack. That is right, Ass Jack. Uh, really heavy punk metal. Fuck man, that's really heavy shit, man. I, I would respect that. I would call it uh, punk, punk metal. Yeah. Yeah. Heavy punk. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean that's where the heavy metal comes in. Yeah, heavy punk. Yeah. So, I I picked it out um, because of some of the track titles. I didn't know anything about the band. Again, I never do any research into these bands. That way I go in with an open mind and an open butthole. <laughs> I just love that wolf sound. I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> oh, wow, I guess I said something funny there. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, um, after looking into it... Shit, let me... All right, dude, chill out. It's not that fucking funny. <laughs> Calm down. Okay, so apparently, according to the Wikipedia page, Ass Jack is an American heavy metal band led by Hank Williams the Third and Garrett Branner, or Bremer. Now, I don't know who Garrett Bremer is, but the name Hank Williams is uh, music royalty, essentially. Uh, and yeah, so this band is one of the three incarnations of Williams' live show, and he started off playing music in in this band through throughout 2008 to 2010. So from the beginning, they started off, I guess, as a metal band, but they've evolved into strictly a punk metal band. Well, there you go. Fuck. <laughs> a punk metal band yep, 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 and yep. that's exactly how I would describe them uh, we listened to two songs the literally the first uh, fuck the first song they don't even have a discography god damn no, the first one was Tennessee Driver yeah the discography takes me to fucking Hank Williams <laughs> fucking Page. Okay, there it is. Yeah. So, yeah, the album is self titled. Came out in 2009. Leader Hank Williams, he's a singer, performed, wrote, and produced the whole album by himself in his home studio. And he played all the instruments. <laughs> he, like, he, he literally did everything. He was a Trent Reznor. Yeah. He was a Desi. A Desi Kryta. <laughs> yeah, uh, fucking. So, yeah, he did everything. We listened to the first track, Tennessee Driver, and Poppy picked a random number out of his ass. And for some reason, mm. that one number is always number seven. And that <laughs> one is Cocaine, the White Devil. And both songs started off with fucking a punch in the mouth. Just fucking super raw, gritty guitars. And, uh, yeah, I, I like it, but I'm probably never going to listen to it ever again. Ooh, really? <laughs> to be honest, yeah. I mean, if, if you like it, I can give you the copy. I don't mind. Um, but yeah, I'll probably never listen to it again. I'll listen to it, but I don't think I have to... I punch somebody when I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, like take, it to, take it to work. And take it to work like, and piss everyone yeah, off. Start a I'll march. Like, hey, yeah, I'll be like, hey, co-worker. Fuck you. Boom. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. Oh, hey, fuck you. Oh, hold on. Okay, so you're, you're going to go to work. Let's just fucking walk right oh. in, right? Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I want to drop kick him. Just run around. Just, oh, just do drop kick. Whoopsie. Oh, yeah. Woo. All of them. All of the buttons. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> but yeah, that was Ass Jack, and uh, again, uh, I got I got their their message after listening to two songs, and again, I'll probably never listen to it. But it's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's hardcore punk. Yeah, heavy it's a uh, punk. punk metal, heavy punk, whatever <laughs> you want to call it. And uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is it for your mom. This is your <coughs> mom. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and, and take another little break. I have to go to the little girl's room. Ooh. And uh, we'll get into something else. Rich and rare. So, um, before we continue, I guess since we're still 
on the topic of music, have you listened to the new System of a Down? Oh, they released a new CD, right? New they, album? They released uh, two tracks. Oh, two tracks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the headline, but I didn't get into it. Yeah, so I listened to them yesterday. Uh, let, me, let me just make sure that I have the correct information. I'm going to go to the reliable source, Wikipedia. Uh, so, yeah, uh, they were uh, on a hiatus. They were not going to be making new music. But... Uh, apparently, I mean, not apparently, it's not on our side of the world, so we're kind of um, um, cut off from the the conflicts that are still happening over there in the Middle East. Uh, so, System of a Down, uh, they're all Armenian, or f- of Armenian descent, and uh, apparently there's uh, fucking still, like, crazy wars, and so- uh, civil wars still happening over there. And, uh, I guess uh, they wanted to let people know that this shit is still happening. And uh, they put out... It was so bad that they decided to put out new music. Uh, And it's their first new song in 15 years. God damn, I didn't know they were fucking on a hiatus that long. Yeah. Uh, But yeah. Hold on, let me make sure. So I'm going to go to Rolling Stones just to get this information because it's not on Wikipedia. Excuse me. But yeah, uh, System of a Down's first new music in 15 years. The song Project or Protect the Land and Genocidal Humanoids. And um, I, I don't know if you want to listen to them before we continue, Poppy, or... Yeah, I'll, I'll take a quick look. Okay, listen. so uh, if you guys haven't, uh, go ahead and pause again here as as this tradition and uh, pause here and go listen to the songs. Uh, they're not super long, but they're awesome. They're great. So with that, uh, let's take a quick little break and rich and rare. So yeah, we just got back. Uh, what do you think now that you've heard them, Bobby? Uh... It's still system right down somewhat. Uh, you could tell where to name the lead guitarist. Darren. Darren. Yeah. Darren. It's more into the vocals. Uh, I, I guess it. I don't say it bothers me or just uh, like, hey, we're surge. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of taking a a back seat. Yeah, he is, and and to me, system is him. Yeah, it's him. Yeah. It's just that like the music and everything is great, but you want to hear Surge sing more. Oh than yeah, Darren. I, I don't know what the decision behind that was, but I mean, fuck it, they're all getting together making music, so. I guess I think the the main thing was to use their name to yeah, get this to, message out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm like, that's good, but I mean, like if you're taking that away, I'm like, hey man. Put back Surge in the front. <laughs> yeah, make him the front man again. Yeah. Yeah, for me, uh, I, I commented on both of the videos. And I uh, commented, are these just old Scars of Broadway songs that Darren is bringing to System of a Down? Because they sound like Scars of Broadway songs. And for, uh, like, f- for, for me saying that, that's because... The first Scars of Broadway album was System of a Down songs yeah. that they didn't want to use. <laughs> so some were actually the same like beats, whatever the same the same sound. music, yeah, music exactly almost the same. It was just different words that he put in. Yeah, yeah. So for for me, that's uh, that's how I felt. Yeah, they're they're great songs, and I'm glad that they're like. Uh, at least getting together for a good cause and to use their name for other than other things than profit yeah but yeah for, for me i think surge needs to start singing a little more cuz if not it's just more scars on broadway and that he's just the back of a yeah yeah and i i like scars on broadway don't get me wrong but uh i'm i i like system of a down more and i miss Old system of a down. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's 
that was kind of some huge news. The System of a Down got together and recorded some shit. Fifteen years. Crazy. Crazy how fucking time flies. No shit. What was the last <laughs> one? Hyp- hypnotize? Mesmerize, hypnotize, yeah. That was what, 2005 then? Uh, yeah, yes. I think it was exactly 2005, 2006. <sighs> Man, 15 years ago. Yeah, 2005, we, yeah, it had to be 15. We, ju- we just need Rage against Machine to come back. <laughs> well, I mean, they have the profits of Rage, but it's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, I, I, don't rem- I remember reading something about Zach De La Rocha, like, I guess, uh, wanting to do more. Well, they've toured together. But yeah, that, they, they've that. done shows and shit. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe all, all, all this time, like uh, whatever reason that he left, or fucking. I, I think now is a great time for them to come back. No shit, man. Should come back four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Ah, fuck. Uh, hold on, let me see if, what I have in my research. <laughs> my research fucking tab. Ooh. Nothing, okay. <laughs> um, so uh, 15 you, years, shit. Yeah. No shit, right? I was but a boy. <laughs> mm, how old were you, like 10 years 15 ago? 15 years ago, I was 18. 19. No, you can't. Were you? Yeah. I, gradu- I graduated class of 2005, puppy. <laughs> uh, well, I'm. So, uh, so is that around the time we met? Oh. Uh, yeah, almost. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's crazy, right? Damn, you think it is like fifteen? Yeah, I think years. I was. Damn. I think I was nineteen, maybe twenty, when I met you. Yeah, I remember you and I were able to go to a bar. <laughs> but you still gave me all the drink, uh, all oof. the pistol that I could have. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Fuck, puppy. We're getting old. <laughs> we are getting. I'm. I'm old. Yeah. 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 You're old, man, Ray. I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> so well, you know when you're old, when you make noises, when you bend down. Yeah. Or if you <laughs> sit on your own balls. <laughs> oh, that happens to me a lot. Yeah. I mean. I mean. Yeah. You no, know, I'm not even gonna say it. But yeah, uh, when it does happen. Ray. You make some sounds that you never thought you heard, Bevo. Mm-hmm. Um, have we talked about uh, the Dexter thing? No. So oh, yeah, we just met. We mentioned it. There, it's coming back. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully they don't fuck that up. They haven't start. They haven't started anything yet, right? Yeah, just, I don't think they're, they're gonna just... start anything. But they just got everyone together and they're like, "Hey, let's let's fix this shit that we ruined." <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. Um, but I'm just curious: are, are they going to continue it, or just, I mean, they continue where they left off, or just a whole new story? Well, yeah, from what I've, from what I read, yeah, they're going to continue. So he's a lumberjack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's out making fucking glue out of horse hooves or whatever the fuck, <laughs> whatever the fuck he's doing. Well, I don't know, Dave. Um, but I guess with that, uh, fucking the one thing that I've been wanting to talk about, but it can never come up. You finally saw the Monster Hunter trailer, right? Yes. <laughs> so Monster Hunter is a video game that's super popular in the Asian region. Oh, Asian region. And, uh... It's, uh, I guess, getting popular enough for them to decide to try to make a shit movie out of it. (laughs) But uh, fucking Mila Jovovich is the lead. And uh, I don't know how I feel about that. You're just tired of her making shitty ass movies? I'm tired of her fucking up video game movies. That's true. She did the whole Resident Evil. Uh, Hey, calm down, okay? <laughs> yeah, uh, fucking, I don't know. She was amazing in the Fifth Element, and uh, 
I don't really that's know. It. I don't really know anything else that she was really good in. Fuck. Well, she did, she did the Ark, the Joan of Arc movie. She did that on her. I don't think I saw that, so I have no idea what you're talking about. What really? Yeah, is it Joan of Arc, the bitch that? Jo- yeah, Joan of Arc. The, the bitch the that they fr- burned for witchcraft. Yeah, she took the army of Fr- of France, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some shit like that. She tried to. Okay. F- she tried to fucking take on the. The knights, the crusading knights. So I think she did help them win, but then, I, and then they were like, "Uh, we're good. We're gonna burn you now." Okay, so uh, have you ever seen? Oh fuck! What the fuck is the name of that mean? I think the guy who directed Monster Hunter is the guy who directed the first Resident Evil. I think that's why she's in it. Fuck. Yeah, he is. Okay. Huh? <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> okay, there's another movie that I really like with Mila Jovovich. Super stylized. Um, hold on, uh, fuck, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but fuck, I have the the character model in my head. So yeah, she comes out in Days and Confused. Uh, yeah, yeah, she does come out in Days and Confused, and that's when you, uh, like I, maybe that was her first movie. I want to say. Yeah. Oh no no, Two Moon Junction, her first. Acting role. No idea. Dazed and Confused came out in '93. That was, she came out in uh, uh, four different things before that. But the one that I'm caught, well, the one that I'm talking about, fucking, it came oh, out. Shit, she's married to that motherfucker. Uh, so it's another uh, Sherry Moon zombie kind of thing. Uh, Rob Zombie's wife comes out in everything that he fucking does. <laughs> and Tim Burton's wife comes out in fucking everything he does. Uh, but she, he wasn't the wife back then. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. The movie <laughs> that the movie that I'm talking about that she came out in that I thought was fucking for as shit 2000s movie as this movie is. Uh, I thought it was a good movie. Ultraviolet. Oh, I don't know what you're No, I never seen that one. Uh, it, it's a, uh, it's it, an action. Yeah, it's anime. it's like uh, a, a comic book action movie. Yeah, there you go. It, it's it's a uh, super stylized. I really like it. it it's uh, different. Like for the same reason why I think Crank is a really good movie, I think Ultraviolet is a really good movie because it's a uh, it's a different kind of fucking movie. Like it's not just your run of the mill generic uh, empowered female, right? Uh, it, it's cool. Like and it's again super stylized. And if they could uh use the CGI that they have now it would be even better maybe they should uh, fucking uh, do a director's cut 20 years later <laughs> uh, did you ever see the fourth kind yes I was looking at it right now that one's pretty good yeah that, that one is pretty good too yeah it's a, like a stupid movie but she's uh, pretty good in it not not even gonna lie what the fuck she came out in Hellboy on the new one or what Oh, maybe. I didn't see that bullshit. Yeah, 2019. The fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. (laughs) Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking shit ass movie. Fuck that. I don't need that shit in my life. (laughs) Thank you, Tony. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, Fuck that movie. Oh, she came out in Zoolander, too. As what? As a model? And no, uh, she's like a stupid uh, apprentice or whatever for Will Ferrell's. Uh, Will Ferrell's. Uh, Will Ferrell. <laughs> fuck whatever the dude from fucking Step Brothers. God damn. Will Ferrell. Thank you. Fuck, yeah. dude. I had a ghost deep throating my fucking mouth. Uh, uh, yeah, fucking Monster Hunter. It looks fucking terrible. Yeah, it's one of those movies. But uh, I, will, I will watch it because I'm a fan I'm, of Monster I'm, Hunter. I'm going to watch it, yeah, because I liked Monster Hunter. But fucking, like, I'm not a huge Monster Hunter fan. I, I only played the newest release. Uh, that that That's my introduction to it. And it's a it's yeah, a hard game. I'm not going to say it's not. But uh, it's fun. And it's uh, one of those uh, Eastern games styles i mean it, it's super anime like all the dialogue and shit yeah <laughs> but i mean fuck the the gameplay at its core is pretty crazy fun 
I like watching Poppy do his blade dancing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta have, you gotta practice on the on the weapons. You can't just go and hack and slash. Yes, you can. There's a a weapon designed for that. Yeah. The but... fucking transforming axe fucking thing. No, that one's hard. No, the the, the hack and slash is the, the two knives. Oh, the two blades. Yeah, that's true. That's true. No. Uh, my favorite was the fucking gun bow, I think it's called. Or the iron bow or whatever the fuck. I, th- the f- I, think, there, I think there was two of them. I don't care. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking uh, puro, puro, puro Chris Kyle, puppy. <laughs> fucking sniping from range. I'm a sniper. T.I. comes out Monster Hunter, dude. Yeah, T.I. comes out in it. What is he going to do? He's going to die right away. Oh, Ron Perlman comes out. (laughs) You know, Ron Perlman is... uh, He's great in movies. Like, he's he's a badass, but, like, once you see how tall he is, like, you're like, you're not that badass. Is that that tall? Right. Hold on. For... Uh, I thought he was like 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, oh, he's 5'11". No, he's, not tall. he's as tall as me. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, I think he's way really taller than that. Uh, there, there's a, like, a super common joke. Uh, the difference between 5'11 and 6 foot. And like the difference is fucking ridiculous. Like half a foot difference. And Well, in the I, IMDB, it's, he's 5'11", but on his... Wikipedia, he's six one. Shut the fuck. Up. <laughs> Maybe with those boots that he wore in Hellboy, that are fucking platform. Well, he, he does look big. He looks tall. He's not. Shit. No, he's uh, just an average size motherfucker. Dip, 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 dip. <laughs> oh, I like the man. Enemy at the gates. You ever seen that one? Enemy at the gates. Which one is that one? That's like based on a sniper and the Russians, the Soviet. Isn't uh, that a book? Partly is. Which it's a movie. Uh, he comes. Jude Law comes out. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Ed, Ed Harris, but like Jude Law's like a sniper, like a bad sniper, or becoming a bad. Oh sniper. yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember this movie. Yeah. He teams up with him. He gets badass sniper on Pro Man. <laughs> like he's trying to jump a gap in the buildings, and they fucking snipe the shit out of him. Peak some all badass. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fucking. He did Blade, awesome. I like them in Blade. He's in what the third one? The third one, I think second or third. No, s- second one, no. Uh, fuck, man, I don't even remember. Yeah, because the third one, this one, which is when it comes out, Ryan Reynolds and Jessica Biel. Oh yeah, Deadpool and uh, Black Widow. It's not Black Widow. Might as well, Bucky. <laughs> might as well. <laughs> the same thing. Dude, I, I type in Blade to fucking Wikipedia and it pulls out knives and shit. Blade movie. Okay, so... Uh, it's part two. It's part two? All right. Wesley nah, I don't know. I didn't check it up, but I think it is part two. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Blade. Where are the fucking other ones? He's 70 years old, shit, man. Ron Perlman, yeah, he's old as fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck, I get... I, oh, Blade Trinity, Blade 2. Oh, yeah, he he plays the, like, the the heavy dude, right? Doesn't he have, like, a fucking minigun or some, or some shit? I don't remember. He's, she's, uh, the, I guess, the leader of the little, of that gang yeah. that helps out Blade. He has the fucking explosive on the back of his head or whatever. Oh, yeah. Or Blade puts it there. I don't remember. Fucking stupid movie. That's alright. I really liked the first one. The first one was pretty cool. Yeah. They're, uh, they're gonna remake it. Who's gonna be Blade? Blade. Michael B. Jordan. Ah. Uh, it's Wesley Snipes still, man. Fuck it. How Blade old? At, Blade at fifty. <laughs> Blade old oh, old uh old man Blade or what? Yeah. Blade reboot. Let's Google that. Wesley Spawn. No, 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 no. 
uh, April 8th, 2020. Blades thing revealed. I don't think they haven't picked who's been Blade yet. No, I don't think they have. Is it going to be Jamie Foxx? No. Didn't they cancel yeah. Spawn? Yeah. Cancel Spawn because of... Because of COVID. No, of Todd. Of course. I think he has him and the... Oh, because he wanted to do everything, right? He wanted to direct yeah. and shit. Get out of here, dude. I think Bloom. I think Blumhouse one picked it up, right? Yeah, Blumhouse uh, picked or, it up. Yeah. Yeah, I can't I think shit. I don't think they they were happy with his ideas. Oh, yeah, with his creative decisions. So okay, let's see. Let me see what else I have on my. Oh, you should let him. Why not? Just let him. Fuck him. He'll do a good job. I mean, he's a decent writer. I'm not gonna say he sucks. What is this? They let, what's his name? Frank Miller do a crappy movie. Why not have? <laughs> what do you mean? You didn't like uh... <laughs> what are we called? Sin City. Oh, that's Sin City. He did some other shitty ass one. Oh, the one with the dude with the mask. Yes, yeah, so with the little stupid. <sighs> what's it called? What is Samuel Jackson comes out? He's like he has on a one. Wait, Frank Miller's a fucking comic book writer? Yeah, man. He did all the graphic novels. I didn't know that. Oh, he's yeah. known for The Dark Knight. No oh, shit. Yeah. He's the one who did Batman Dark for Daredevil and whatnot. <clears throat> uh, all the shit characters. Oh, we're talking about. <laughs> Daredevil, he, really? They were they're all shit characters. I mean, he did 300. He made, 300 he, was pretty badass. He, he made a badass. I mean, that's what Todd McFarlane did for Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. For those of you that don't know, Todd McFarlane is the creator of Spawn. But before he hit it big with his original creation, Spawn, he tried to work for any and every comic book fucking company at the time until uh, Marvel picked him up to ink Spider-Man. And essentially they hated what he was doing. <laughs> but yeah I mean it worked out for him because I read a lot of his uh, uh, drawings of Spider-Man back in the day and uh, yeah he has a he has a very distinct uh, style a lot of black heavy on the black and that's cool it he, he did he create Venom or he just helped he, he like yeah helped Venom I guess become the thing that we all know as Venom now. I don't think he created Venom though. No. Uh, so yeah, I, I can't find exactly what movies were. The I mean, Spirit. I the Spirit. That was oh, the there. Spirit. Yeah, that that movie was pretty fucking garbage. <laughs> I think he did there, did he? He did the screenplay. Yeah, yeah he did directed it. Guess they're like fuck that when they're in another comic book <laughs> writer <laughs> make a movie you guys just stick to fucking your your little cartoons leave the leave the film for the big boys <sighs> like who's that asshole that's uh, doing the Superman uh, or the Justice League fucking director's cut Dan or D Snyder oh, Dan, yeah. Dan Snyder D Snyder or whatever the guy Zack Snyder <laughs> Zack Snyder, okay, the guy from uh, Quiet Riot. <laughs> oh, fuck. You know what? I guess since we're talking about movies, speaking of uh, D. Snyder, have you ever seen uh, <laughs> that movie that he was in? Fuck. Like horror movie? Or... Yeah, Strangeland. Strangeland. Yeah, 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 dude. That's a great movie, dude. I remember I saw it when I was a fucking kid. 98? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good movie, dude. He plays That's... like a killer or some shit. He's a slasher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good movie, man. I... The budget, one million. From what I remember, it was a good movie. What did it make? Fuck no. all. <laughs> Not even half of the budget. Damn. 
Well, yeah, I mean, at this point, everyone was tired of it. Uh, fucking this one, um, I, I guess going back to this one, do you remember Jawbreaker? The one with the chicks? Yeah, 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 the one with Rose McGowan. Yeah. That one's also a pretty good movie, too. Uh, fucking, if you didn't know, like, uh, there's a part where fucking, uh, Marilyn Manson comes out. What? Yeah, I don't think he's credited in this movie, though. Do you, do you remember this movie at all? The Jawbreaker? Yeah. Nah, not really. Did you remember the chick jokes on the Jawbreaker? Yeah, 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 yeah. And Uh, the girl's trying to cover up. Yeah, there, there's a part where she says, like, uh, she would meet strange men at bars or whatever the fuck. And uh, she would take him home and fuck him. So, like, to throw the tr- the trail off of her, she had somebody go and fuck her instead. Damn. While the chick was dead underneath the bed. And the, dude that, the dude that she took home was Marilyn Manson. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> uh, fucking... So, yeah, I guess... Um, uh, I, I'm into shoes I guess uh, too much and <laughs> no no that's not true I don't I don't go out of my way and fucking bankrupt myself no, to buy shoes no but... you're not you're not like other people who actually do it yeah 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 so I, I don't get it I get it I don't get it I, I like shoes but I, I don't I don't like shoes to the point to where like I collect them like I, I have a collection of shoes, but I've worn every shoe that I have at least once. I, I'm not the type of person to fucking buy it and then just put it in a glass box and never fucking touch it, right? So fucking uh, the day before Halloween, a uh, Reebok was having a drop. I, I've never partaken in a a shoe drop before, so I figured, oh, like this one's like, this one's not super huge. Like, I might have a chance to get one. For, for those of you that don't know, when a sneaker drops, like, fucking the piranha are fucking out. Uh, they snatch them up quick. So, this one was Reebok, so I was like, oh, like, there's not really a lot of hype on Reebok right now. And this shoe was fucking awesome. I don't know if you can do me the favor, Poppy, just pull up Google real quick. Is that the spider webs? No, 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 that one is pretty sick too but go to google and type oh. in reebok halloween 2020 no just reebok ghost stomper and it's a high top and now if you couldn't guess by the the name ghost stomper it's a ghostbusters themed sneaker oh shit shit and it's fucking dope it has like a little who who's to say like a little pack on the back of the heel and it has two cables connecting to the back of the heel and it's just a Ghostbuster themed sneaker uh, and it looks fucking sick they were uh, set to release uh, at 11pm October 30th and they were going to cost 150 so I, I saved my money to buy these fucking shoes right and like a nerd, I had an alarm 15 minutes before it was going to drop. <laughs> and I just, I went to their website and I kept refreshing and I kept refreshing it. And uh, fucking like an asshole, dude. I waited almost uh, almost a whole month for these shoes, right? <laughs> so fucking, this is the first time I'm, I'm geeking out about shoes, right? I feel like a proper sneakerhead. And fucking, I'm like, oh yeah, dude. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be first in line. I'm gonna fucking super, super, super speed fucking click this motherfucker. <laughs> I wear a size 13, so I mean, it's not a normal size. Uh, fucking. So I was like, oh yeah, like I, I most definitely will get it. I'll, I'll, I'll catch it. So I'm fucking there, loading and loading and loading. I'm loading. We were playing uh, video games, me and Carlton. And I was like, hey, give me a minute real quick. And I'm fucking there loading the page, loading the page, loading the page. <laughs> and fucking 11 o'clock rolls around and I load the page. And I go, I click my size and I go to fucking like add to cart or like confirm the purchase, right? 
and when I click my size and I click add to cart, it's like the fucking website essentially fucking uh, dies. What? I, like error occurred. Uh, please select size, but all the sizes disappeared. E. So I was like, fuck. So I reload the page, and like, okay, it's, uh, like size fifteen is gone. 13 is still there. Fucking, I click it and again, and a fucking again, it fucking error has occurred. I did that like maybe 10 times and I was like, man, fuck. <laughs> I, I load it again and it says all, uh, it says sold out. Ooh. And I'm like, what the fuck? I fucking raged, dude. I was so butthurt. Uh, You're so close, man. It, it, dude, I had it in the shopping cart, and when I went to go to like to confirm the shopping cart, it fucking crashed, and it said that there was no none available in that size. So I was like, "Man, fuck Reebok." Uh, <laughs> I had been looking. Uh, there's another shoe that's like easily a good step into shoe collecting, and. Uh, it's the Jordan 1, the first series of the first Jordan shoe to be designed by Nike. And I had two different colorways uh, saved in a cart. Like, I was like, oh, maybe, like, fucking, when I have some throwaway money, I'll buy them, right? Like, they, they never went out of stock. Uh, but I, I'm coming to learn that size 13 is the size to buy in sneakers. <laughs> That that's like the most requested size for fucking shoe collectors, size thirteen. Yeah, so because fucking air, air, air Breeze thirteen, or is it just one of those things that people could fit? No, in it's it's just the 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 thing that people that die hard collect them are thirteen. Like oh, it's, it's just, just like a weird anomaly. Oh, well, it's not like they could fit in there. Yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. Just... It, it's just like one of those things that the 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 numbers just show that the people that are buying all these shoes, buy them in a 13. I don't know why. I don't fucking... I don't care. Fuck! <laughs> so, dude, I was fucking pissed. I, I was heated. Like, I, I fucking gave up whatever we were doing. I fucking... Uh, I was so butthurt. I went to, to Nike, and for the pair... That, that shoe... That one pair of shoes would have cost me 165 with taxes, right? American. So I went to Nike and I checked out those Jordan 1s that I had in my cart for the longest time. They were on sale for $75, both of them. So I was like, you know what, Reebok? Fuck you! I'm going to fucking go with your biggest rival, Nike, and buy a pair. Or For the same cost of that one pair, I'm going to buy two pair that I really wanted. So I bought two pair of Jordans. Fuck you, Reebok. Eat my ass and get a better website. <laughs> so the, uh, was I, it officially the Reebok website? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, uh, the Reebok website. I signed up to their newsletter. I fucking downloaded the app. I dude, I tried to get. The, I really wanted to. And the thing is, like those shoes, people buy them, but they never wear them. I was gonna yeah. wear those shoes. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe it's for the best. Because I probably would have destroyed them and somebody would have put them in their fucking house of sneakers. <sighs> so I fucking, I just spot, I, I bought those two Jordans out of spite. Jinga. And uh, yeah, I was a real adult about it. <laughs> but you know what? I got I got those two pair in and I I'm glad I got them in. They're fucking sick. Uh, I do not regret my purchase. But fuck you, Reebok. Fix your shit. Fuck that. They should do it. They should have done like the when you buy the tickets. Yeah. Only certain amount of people were allowed, and you give you like a minute to get it to confirm the purchase. At least, right? Or like the thing is, a lot of people put it into their shopping cart and they hold on to it. They don't even buy them. So like they're essentially just holding on to them. Oh, you think they didn't even buy them? They just had them there? Uh, th that happens. That sucks. Yeah, fuck those people and fuck you, Reebok. <laughs> and fucking the thing that sucks now is I just found out uh, there's a YouTube channel that I watch a lot. It, it's uh, First We Feast by Complex. Uh, they do Hot Ones, the game. 
our hot ones of the show uh, where uh, fucking this dude interviews celebrities and they eat hotter and hotter hot wings. I don't know if you've if if yeah. you're privy to it. Okay, they got a fucking sneaker deal with Reebok, and the shoes that they're gonna release are themed around hot ones. They're <laughs> sick, but after my fucking first dip into a shoe drop, fuck you, Reebok. Or you just buy them at eBay or something. And fuck no, man. The shoe, the, they're even more expensive. I saw somebody reselling them for almost $100 more. Get yeah. out of here. Fuck that. You gotta make money, man. I know, but fuck them. I was in line for a month. <laughs> and because their website can't handle... Another thing is like fucking bots. People use bots to crash the website. Nah, maybe that's what happened. Fuck that, dude. You can tell I'm still a little butthurt about it, but I got over it. I have two pair of fucking sick Jordans. Fuck you, Reebok. Nice shit on British Knights, man. <laughs> Dude, they, they, <laughs> they brought them back for a while, but they are they were like 120-something, I think. And for a pair of shoes that I've never owned, but I want to own, I don't know if, I don't know if that's worth it to me. You know? Like, yeah. I, I like to collect shoes, but I also, like see the realization they're just fucking shoes <laughs> yeah to me they're sh- I don't give a shit about shoes oh, yeah. uh, I don't I still have like two pairs for the past five years do you still have those black and blue fucking Nikes yeah Let's throw those away puppy <laughs> tell you I don't give a shit fucking it's smell like cool I... already no so nice oh, I smell like that ass ooh oh wait well, Papi, we're we're already at an hour. I don't know if you have anything that you want to bring up or. No, nah, I'm good. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything you want to say or. Well, I'm just you know I think about you know how we, you get all those CDs. Yeah. I wonder maybe one of the, I wonder if any of the people who listen to the show will be like, hey man, tell me one. Of those. I've been looking for that CD. <laughs> right, and they go, oh, you have this one. I've been looking for five years. Like yeah. that, like that one that we found on Amazon for like a hundred and twenty dollars, or what was it? Uh, yeah, something man. ridiculous. Like, I'll be funny what happened. Come on, man! I get ten bucks for the CD. I mean, I paid two bucks for it, so anything I sell it for is a profit. <laughs> anything more than that, fuck. Well, fuck it. I guess we'll end the show there. Uh, I appreciate uh, everyone that listens. Thank you, Poppy, for showing up. Know it. I'm glad I got the fucking the old girl back and running. Uh, you, gave, you gave it some new implants. Oh, I gave it some double D's. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, with that being said, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for listening. This was Hanging Heavy. Much love and rich and rare. <laughs>